Shortcuts is my favorite application, both for my iPhone and Apple Watch. Over the years, I made a lot of different shortcuts for different scenarios and use cases, but I was always thinking about creating the ultimate shortcut. And guess what? I made it. In this video, I'm gonna show you my latest creation, and it's called the Magic Shortcut. It works literally like magic. Not only it is context-based, but also location-based. It is also capable of running other shortcuts. Okay, enough talking, it's better to show you. Case number one, home. When I launch the magic shortcut at home, the shortcut automatically understands that I am currently located at my home and provides me with four options related to my home. Leave my home scenario, control outlet, control lights, launch bedtime scenario. When choosing the leave my home option, it will instantly turn off all HomeKit accessories, including lights, outlets, and other devices except my fridge, of course. Basically, the first set of actions just runs my home kit scene that I made for this purpose. Control outlet option. This shortcut is like a simple switch. It turns on the outlet when it's off and it turns it off when it's on. I hope you got the idea. The same thing goes for the control lights option. If lights are off, the shortcut will turn them on. If lights are on, the shortcut will turn them off. Pretty handy feature. The bedtime option simply turns off all HomeKit accessories and turns on the sleep mode and immediately opens the Sleep Cycle app to start tracking my sleep quality. Case number two, office. When I launch the magic shortcut in my office, it will instantly open my Outlook app. The magic shortcut understands that I am currently located at my office location then it runs a scenario made for this location, which is open app called Outlook. I can launch it by pressing the action button on my iPhone or by using double tap gesture on my Apple Watch. Swimming pool. When I use the magic shortcut while being in my swimming pool, it automatically starts a swimming workout on my Apple Watch. The only thing I have to do is to make a double tap gesture with my fingers or press the action button. The shortcut understands that I just arrived at my swimming pool, so what would be the most appropriate action in this location? Of course, start a swimming workout. I just love how intelligent this shortcut is and how it understands the context and chooses the appropriate scenario. Case number four, running. When I'm going to run on the running track, the magic shortcut on my Apple Watch understands my current location, which is the running track. It shows a notification with current weather conditions and instantly opens the Nike Run Club app. So I can just hit the go button and start running. Pretty cool feature. Case number five, any other location. Finally, when I am not at any of the previous locations, which means somewhere else, triggering the magic shortcut will launch the navigation bot shortcut. This shortcut allows me to quickly use Apple Maps, select my transportation method. This shortcut allows me to quickly use Apple Maps, select my transportation method and get to my destination as fast as possible. Of course, these actions are just an example of my lifestyle. You can adjust the magic shortcut how you want. To be able to do that, let's quickly review the structure of this shortcut. So once you downloaded my shortcut, long press on it and tap edit. Here you can see how it's built. By the way, it's very simple. Action number one, get your current location. Action number two, compare your current location to your home address. If the location matches the home address you have provided, 
it launches home actions. Like in my case, choose from the menu with four most common shortcuts I use at home. If your current location detected by the shortcut is not matching your home address, it will check the second location you provided, which is in my case, my office and so on. I hope you got the idea. Finally, if none of the addresses in the shortcut will match the current location, it will run a navigation bot shortcut, or you can program any other action. You can of course customize this shortcut and replace my actions with your own. Just make sure to put your own addresses in the respective fields. As I said earlier, you can assign the shortcut to be triggered when pressing the action button on your iPhone or Apple Watch. Just go to settings, action button and select the magic shortcut. One of the coolest features on the Apple Watch is the ability to use the double tap gesture to launch the magic shortcut. It makes the magic shortcut even more magic. By the way, this double tap trigger can be activated on all Apple Watch models, even some older watches like Series 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8. This trick uses the accessibility feature of watchOS. If you want to get this magic double tap gesture on your watch, check out my tutorial video. The link will be provided in the description. Guys, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more tech-oriented content. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel as well. See you later on YouTube. Bye-bye.